Welcome to the pilot episode of our very own AV magazine. Presenting to you all Inside SXL. Adya and I will be your hosts for today. And in today's episode, boxes are thrown. People run away. But before all that, where are they So here is here for the performing arts award. The preparation for the Kerala Arts performance is going at close time. I'm really, I'm really excited to perform for Kerala Arts because it's a really famous college and it's a really prestigious institution and if we're getting a chance to perform and represent our school in front of them, it's, it's like a big thing for everyone, isn't it? Of course we're excited. Performing is all very exciting. The practices are really intense because like, they're having a stay back every day. And Preparation's going great. We've practiced with the dance team. We are ready for the performance so we could use a few more practices. Hello everyone, so I am here today with Mr. Ravi who is the president of CalArts. Good morning sir. Hi, so um, I'll be asking you a few questions sir. Um, okay, so the first question for me to you is what is life like in CalArts? Life at CalArts? CalArts is a very interesting place. It was started by uh, the Disney brothers, Walt Disney and Roy, his brother Roy Disney. And uh, Walt Disney always had this vision of having a city of the arts. So really a, a place where artists could come and uh, both the teachers and the students were not defined that way. Everyone was together almost in a, in, a, in a working environment where everybody was an artist. So the idea was there was a dialogue between artists. So really this, uh, almost 50 years later, we find that there is a, a city of artists here in, uh, in suburban uh, uh, Los Angeles that really is focused on inventing new forms of work. So at the time, you know, animation was new, something that Disney really invented and made large. So he wanted a school where everybody was collaborating and would invent the new animation or the new thing. What does CalArts look for in its students, sir? CalArts is a, is a unique place. The number one thing I'd say that we look for in our students is the generative impulse, that is to be able to create new things. So many art schools are looking for craft, technique, at CalArts, the most important thing is the idea or the story. So, in fact, our animation programs, which are, is the first, they're the first and the best in the world, uh, often put a, a heavy emphasis on the story. So, you may not be able to draw as well as some other people, but that's okay because you'll learn how to draw there. What you, what's harder is the ideas that you are using to create the story that you want to, to, to create. So it's, it's, it's a very interesting thing. Same with art. Many, many art schools require you to submit drawings and ours does not. So we're looking for ideas more than technique. Okay, wow, sir. Um, so sir, how do students contribute in the schools? Like what helps them develop in the schools? What courses do they take? Meaning? So sir, what I mean is how does your school help these students in developing through the courses and various activities? So one thing that makes college very unique and unlike any other school is that while we have some courses, uh, the rigidity of kind of coursework and classes is very different. So there's an individual attention between faculty and student. Almost mentorship pairings happen. And uh, then students work also together in groups on projects. So. It's uh, that way you've maybe heard of it as kind of a progressive education or one that's different. They often say things like flipped classrooms. It's a lot of ways people use to define this now. CalArts has been that since its inception. And so it's a, it's, I, I like to say it's a unique environment, uh, but in the arts it's really what's necessary to, to get new work to happen. So in a, another art school you may have a very specific like drawing one, drawing two, these kind of sequenced classes. At CalArts, it's not quite that rigid. Okay, thank you, sir. Sir, um, so one last question, which I'm sure all the students from our school are interested to know about, is what do you see in Heritage? What do I see in Heritage? What I know Heritage to be is an excellent school where the academics are uh, first class, and uh, I'm excited to see the school 
and meet the teachers and understand more about the the, the basis for which the heritage schools exist. Okay, thank you so much, sir, for answering these questions. You're welcome. So now these folks from Kalats will be visiting around the school and having a tour. And now, we have for you one of the hottest topics in discussion. TV. TV is a social platform. Was meant to be. <laughs> where we can have group discussions, post homework, make announcements. And use hashtags too. TV was received with a huge amount of mixed emotions. So we went out and asked students what they felt about TV. I do hate TV. What do you think about TV? It's not good. Do you like TV? Yeah, I like TV because you can write books, chat, read up. Actually, I'm not quite fond of TV because I think it's a personal waste of time. Yes, I like TV because we get to do the homework every day. And like whenever we are absent, we get to know what happened in class. Um, it's a good change. It will help us in the future, but obviously because it's a new thing, so all of us are resisting change. Yeah. We also post uh, like uh, polls on TV, which also helps us to get to know what the class is. I think that males do the same thing that Timmy can do and I think that Timmy takes a long time to access and I think it's a personal waste of time. Um, I think Timmy is a good platform, we're trying new things out and uh, I like Timmy as a, you know, it helps us organize uh, our stuff into proper uh, timetables and stuff. I just don't like that there are too many uh, uh, bugs in that. It's more organized, we have all our subjects segregated but I think it was not a very needed thing, but we'll get used to it eventually. And I also don't like the interest, but I think it's a cool, cool thing which we can, you know, use uh, to uh, manage our homework and other stuff. Center for Active Citizenship is our effort to pass on the active and responsible duties to our students. HCAC enables students to become active and aware citizens by helping them build the right skill set. I'm at the MC Primary School, Police Colony, New Delhi. This is a school which Heritage has adopted and is trying to improve the conditions of. Right now, we are here looking at, at what HCAC is doing in, and contributing towards improving the learning of these children. My name is Jivitesh Singh Kamboj and I'm the leader for this um, service learning project. Nirvan is a project in which we're planning to empower children to learn uh, about science and make an experience about uh, making use of daily material to solve problems in their lives. we paired up with the SDMC school in Delhi to expose the MCV children to the experiential learning concept of the Heritage Experiential Learning School. And Hi, I'm Medha. I'm Akriti. And uh, we are working for the service learning project called Nirman. 
So uh, basically, it has been an amazing experience going to the school. So working with the kids was really fun since they were all curious and uh, they were really enthusiastic to know how experiential learning works. We gave out um, different science modules and uh, various things for them to experiment with. It was an amazing experience because they were very excited to learn new things and. They were very friendly. Um, it it was actually a really good experience as all the kids there were really uh, enthusiastic and they really loved us. They were actually very creative and intelligent and it was an enriching experience. We had a very enthusiastic response from their end. It has been an amazing experience and I would love to do this. Yeah, yeah. That's all for the MC Primary School Horse Pass. Uh, spending the past three days here has been a very touching and enlightening experience. Seeing how the members of HCSA interact with these children and help them grow and teach them stuff, it's very nice to know that there's something being done like that. And seeing how our school has contributed to the school, it's really, I feel really happy to know that I'm part of such an institution. This is all for this episode, and this has been Lavane. You've been watching Inside X. Until next time. What is one important thing to keep in mind to be successful in any art? Make work. Continue to make work. Wow, thank you so much, sir. You're welcome.